It's a national historic site, the official home and workplace to all governors general dating back to 1867. It's also largely open to the public to wander the grounds or tour inside. Sources say that lack of privacy is the reason Governor General Julie Payette has resisted living there. Despite millions of dollars in updates to Rideau Hall, CBC News has learned the Governor General's office requested even more expensive changes before Payette will move in. Sources say the renovation plan started with an idea to have a door on the second floor so Payette's cats can go outside. Then the idea grew, turning into a project to build a full private staircase for Payette to enter and exit the building without anyone seeing. Almost $140,000 was already spent on design plans and studies before Rideau Hall eventually scrapped the project. Another $117,000 spent installing new access gates around Payette's office. Sources say the RCMP didn't require them for security. Rather, Payette doesn't like to see maintenance workers or other staff in her line of sight. It's a great deal of money to make a permanent change. This expert on Canadian Governors General criticizes the spending. The idea of the of this sort of spending for the comfort of one incumbent is, is problematic in that sense and, and I think regrettable. Others say taking the role as the Queen's representative involves losing some personal privacy. When you come into a role like this that it's a very public role. These are discussions that probably should have been had uh, before uh, coming in into that role. Despite all the costs, three years into her five-year mandate, Payette is still living in a guest house nearby, normally used by foreign dignitaries. The Governor General's office said there are still outstanding issues with the official residence's privacy, accessibility and security, especially in light of an armed man driving onto the grounds last month. So, unlike past Governors General, Payette is living elsewhere for the foreseeable future. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.